I'd like to take a roll call. Alderman Kleiner? Here. Alderman Green? Here. Alderman Ray? Here. Alderman Witt? Here. Yes. Tonight we have two items in the agenda. The first is to request to remove no parking signs on Du Bois Street and also the Rockwell Avenue sidewalk. Commissioner, do you want to start? Thank you. So, good evening. Uh, when the Alderman Kleiner, he was acting chair for the DPW committee, that petition came before you, before the uh, DP, DPW committee, to consider uh, allowing Du Bois uh, uh, all day parking on both sides. Right now, you're allowed one side only, which is the eastern side. And the western side, uh, it had restriction. You can park there from 6, from 6 p.m. on but during the day you cannot, something to that effect. So uh, as we supplied you the pictures and we took some measurements, the chief, uh, Lieutenant Thol Tholen and I, we went down there the next day as we promised Alderman Kleiner, we'll go there and measure it and we'll get back to you with our um, recommendation. As you can see from the photos, yep. uh, Du Bois, Earl and the other streets parallel to it, they are narrow um, and uh, when you park two cars, one along, one across from the other, as shown in the picture, you really cannot even drive a pickup truck in between. And it so happened we parked it there to take pictures and measurement, and the pickup truck is coming from the people who live there. <laughs> he got stuck. He, he wouldn't move. You know, he can't make it through. Just a pickup truck. So we had to move one of our vehicles, either the chief or mine, so that he can, the guy can go through. And he said, guys, what are you doing? I live here. And he said, well, we're looking for this, but he said, hey, guys, you got to think of a garbage truck, too, coming through here. They will not be able to make it. So having conversation with the neighbors, they all came out and all that stuff. I don't know if the lady who sent the petition came out or not, but the guy across the street, the gentleman across the street, he came out and he said, he's a retired police officer from, from California. Um, he said, you know what? It's, it's really a problem. I would rather... It's, it's permitted to park my side of the street. I would rather have no parking on my side of the street and put it all on her side of, of, the, of the street. They can park 24 hours because she has a sidewalk in there. Mm -hmm. His side does not have a sidewalk, so it will make sense. If you have to choose, choose sides, yeah. choose the side where the sidewalk, sidewalk is so you can get out of your car and walk on the sidewalk wherever you want to go. So, you know, unfortunately for that lady, she brought it up to our attention and it causes us to go and measure, and um, it's totally unsafe uh, to, to allow parking on both sides of the road. And now that applies for many streets in the city. And that will, you know, uh, so, so just, uh, you know, we, we, measured, we, measured, we measured angles. Angles can, can have one side. We measured uh, Randall Terrace. Probably you could have both sides, Randall Terrace, that's 20 foot, 28 foot wide. Uh, du Bois and Earl and Ingalls, really it should be just one side. Right now it's permitted both sides with the same restrictions during the day you cannot park on one side. So, you know, and obviously we, we have notes in here and we recommend that you do it on, on the side, you permit the, the parking on the side where the sidewalk is okay. for all three streets, Du Bois, Earl and uh, and uh, Ingalls. Okay. All right. Thank you, Commissioner. Just yep. going to go around everyone in the committee. Uh, Alderman Kleiner. Uh, I just want to thank uh, the commissioner and the chief for um, uh, going and evaluating that. And there are some streets, I mean, I think of the historical society and East Avenue, and there's only parking on one side. When people do stop, people apparently, when they think, when they put their hazard lights on, they can park anywhere, anytime. <laughs> and so you, you run into that, and then you, you just have to wait, and you hope, you know, a, a big, um, we saw a big tractor trailer trying to go down Houston and then turn back on to Academy, and it was like a half hour procedure for them. Um, so some streets, uh, and I think in the second ward, and second and third combined, Lake Avenue, because Lake Avenue only has parking on the one side, but um, 
yard people and delivery trucks and all things they can park anywhere anytime and it does it you can barely get one car through so um, I, I think moving it to the side with the sidewalk is a good recommendation but I think maybe we can come up with a standard in terms of width of a street before we allow parking on both sides but um, I basically agree with the commissioner thank you Thank you, Alderman. Alderman Green. Thank you. Yeah, I, can, I concur with that. And um, I just hope we do look at some other streets because there definitely are a few that I know even I have trouble getting my truck through. So uh, let's go for it. Thank you. Alderman Witt. Uh, I'm just like, what are we, are we just addressing the Du Bois situation or are we depressing Du Bois Correct. and then adding to the other three? Just Du Bois, right? Just Du Bois. Okay, thank you. Commissioner, what do you think? Should we do it all at once? So we have th three separate resolutions. Yeah, they, I mean, the, the, three, the three of them, they are exactly the same. Okay. 24, 24. Angles is only 26, two foot wider. So if you want to do at least uh, uh, Du Bois and Earl. What do you think, Chief? All right. I, I All right. agree. Okay, I think the mayor may, may have an idea. Come on, Mayor. Thank you, Commissioner. You should be talking to the people on the other streets before you pass a resolution. Correct. Okay. And include right. them, give them the same courtesy. And I, th I think most people will understand it very clearly. Correct. But if you just surprise people tomorrow morning with signs or you know next week with signs, Correct. I think you're going to have a, an awful lot of angry people. Thank you, Mayor. Yep. So we'll, we'll just deal with the boys for now. Correct, Commissioner? Is that okay with you? It has to be okay. Well, absolutely. Whatever you guys decide, <laughs> whatever whatever you guys decide, we, we will uh, do. I mean, but uh, okay. it's, it's uh, you know, again, I, were, I don't want to misrepresent that the chief and I, we spoke to everybody there. We spoke to three residents in that whole, st in the whole, in that whole block. So uh, on Are the you boys. referring to the boys? The boys, yeah. Okay, all right. Only three residents that came out, the guy with the pickup truck who was driving through, the guy from California, and the... Uh, we believe it was the lady who signed the petitions, but she kept going. She, she Thank you, Commissioner. She didn't like the answer, I don't think. Thank you. Alderman Ray, you're part of the committee. I have no issue. Um, this obviously, I, I defer to the, the Alderman of the Ward. I, I have no issue with making the shift, but I agree. Let's not surprise people with things before we've already spoken to them. Okay, so we're moving on to the second resolution, which is the uh, Warkwell Avenue sidewalk. Commissioner, can I get your attention, please? <laughs> the the Rightwell Avenue sidewalk. What's the plan? Midland Avenue, again, when you were away, uh, uh, Chairman uh, Jude, uh, the, this matter came up in there, Alderman Green, Alderman Kleiner, with the support of the mayor and the council president, and I believe the entire committee, they voted on it to extend the, um, the sidewalk uh, between um, Eisenhower to Roosevelt along one side of Rock, uh, Rockwell Avenue. Okay. And they asked us to look at the feasibility of it. It is doable. Uh, we might have to have a wider strip of grass between the sidewalk and the uh, curb. Um, and the cost is going to be around $100, $115,000 in there to do this. It's about 480 feet, lineal feet. Okay. No, absolutely not. So uh, you, we, have, we have to hire a professional surveyor to identify where the, um, where the property line is and uh, so that to make sure that we're staying within the street right of way. That's the only professional services we would, be, do, we would pay for, just the surveyor, and then we can, we can lay it out and the contractor will build it. And that's using Orange County uh, public bid. We don't have to put it out for bid. Okay. Um, that's that's the one we use but again you know you got to just make sure that the people are happy with it because you know putting a new sidewalk in there they're going to be responsible for the liability of it I'm just repeating that I know we talked about it right. in details right. the other day uh, for the liability of the sidewalk slip and fall icing maintaining it shoveling it and replacing it whenever it gets old and uh, beat, beaten up well f for the most part because i had an opportunity to to uh canvas the area too for the most part there is sidewalk there already but it seems like a portion of it is missing so all we do is continue the work so right. that's I don't one see block is Correct. yes that's mm -hmm. what they're requesting uh the aldermen and residents they showed up to requesting it who live in that area okay thank you commissioner yep. alderman kleiner 
Um, Jacob, before you sit down, uh, I they'd asked about, you know, the how doable is it? I mean, considering those two big telephone poles that seem to be right where a sidewalk would go. Yeah, we will maneuver. We will maneuver around them so that all the time you'll have a three foot wide sidewalk. Yeah, we will be. We should be able to maneuver around it without having to move the poles. There's so we'll lay it out. Yeah, we'll lay it out. We looked at it, and and it looks to be doable if it becomes a real uh, issue. But I don't see it to be an issue. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be similar to um, what is that Roosevelt going up? You see the, the the strip between the curb and the sidewalk is really wide. It's not the typical two foot snow. We call it uh, a snow um, a snow shelf. It's much wider in there in, on Roosevelt. So okay. we may have to be that way, but we have to check the property lines to make sure we're not going into people's property. Right. And we are staying within the street right of way. And that's why we need the survey. Okay. Thank you, Commissioner. Yeah. Thank yes, you. sir. Alderman Kleiner, Alderman Green. <clears throat> okay, Alderman Witt. Um, I just had a question on the, the money because there seemed to be a reaction to the money. So educate me, is that like standard cost is that a lot is there grant money attached to that that we're able to utilize commissioner you want to elaborate on that please we're, we're using uh, orange I, i'm sorry i don't know i'm just saying because a couple people reacted to the cost of it and i just educate me if i'm missing something here if there's Good that's point. a lot a little is there is this being you know grant money is it subsidized somehow or is it all coming out of our bank account? And if so, if there are people who have concerns, even who are not in this committee, I'd love to hear it. Right. Thank you. Well, <laughs> so the estimate what? was a hundred. The estimate was a hundred, right? Well, it's, it's, I just said that it's a county bid. It's Orange County bid. That's the number. Yeah, that's what I, I said before. I'm saying it again. No, I don't have to go through, get three bids or anything like that. So we're tapping into Orange County uh, Public Works bid. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you, Commissioner. Alderman Ray. I'm fine. All the women? You didn't, you didn't ask the rest of us to participate. Well, I'm the only, because uh, you only got 15 minutes, so I'm trying to keep it. Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> Alderman Johnson. I had a quick question. Well, see, he's busy again. He's yeah. really busy. Um, I just had a question on the one side of the street parking. I'm understanding we're not doing a citywide survey right now because Mayor said it would take people by surprise. On the one side of the street parking, we're not doing a citywide survey right now. We're just doing one street and maybe these two others Correct. once we, we, the uh, polling is taking place. Correct. Uh, Alderman Klein alluded to a number. Is there, a, is there a standard number for the width of the street, or is it case by case? Uh, that's, a, that's a good question, and this is what the mayor has been asking for for three years, to really the, 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 to, to commission a study citywide to recommend where. I mean, if this lady, to be honest with you, she did not right. raise this issue, we would not go and measure it and find out, wait a minute, guys, we've we got, we got a problem in there, Understood. okay? It stayed there for 100 years, whatever it is, there is no problem, but it could have happened. So the mayor has been talking about, and I had a conversation with him yesterday about this whole thing. He said we needed to do a study in there, and, and we can do similar to what we did, the chief and I, but it's going to be much more productive, much more efficient to bring a consultant in okay. to do citywide parking, and that will address Alderman Kleiner citywide parking evaluation and recommendation, part of which could be, go ahead. So it's not as simple as to say, 27 feet or under, you can only have one side of the street? We, it's, it, we have to. I can't, I can't make a rule like that and just walk away. Okay. I have to look at it in there for each one. Case case. Like we, lost, we looked at three streets in there, like the chief and I, and we definitely they are too tight in there. So you can take that 24 foot, you can allow one side of the street because you add the numbers. You know, right. 24, uh, you know, a 24 foot in there, you have eight foot, say, for, for, for park car, and another 10 and 10 minimum. So there you go, you're, you're 28 feet already. But well, we still so don't have that. Tight. that. That's still not in code right now. What? That number that you just stated. No, we can, we can be eight. We don't even have that in Du Bois. Eight, 10, and 10. 
travel lane should right. be comfortably, uh, you know, 10 foot in there when you design a road. 11 foot is prefer prepared, 12 foot is prepared per lane. We don't have that. You go to Prospect Avenue as an example where I used to live. We have cars parked on both sides. You can't get, a, you, you, there's no way you can get a snow plow or any, any kind of. So when you say eight, 10 and 10, that implies that anything under 28 feet is not going to be suitable for parking on both sides of the street. Right, but yes. Okay. Well, one side, only one side we're talking about. Right. One side. 28 or less. Yeah, one side. So now we're allowing it at 24 with the boys. Right. You follow me? I do. The boys were allowing it on one side. Before it was two sides. Now we're one side, right? Before it okay. was two sides of the street overnight, they were allowed. I just want to understand if now it's a saying, standardized so measurement or if it's still street would, by street. I would strongly, I do strongly recommend going along with the mayor's recommendation to do citywide parking uh, evaluation and a study. That's okay. my position and it's really needed because we caught this deploys in there just by a petition, by, uh, you know, stroke of luck. And you tell me why, how come we were okay all these years, I have more to talk about it later if you want me to well, talk about it. Well, of course, that seems to be the nature of code is you don't address it until somebody says it doesn't seem exactly. to be appropriate for us. Well, she was asking for more, but unfortunately, okay. we're going to get less. Yeah. Thank you very much. I didn't mean to take Thank you, Commissioner. Yes, it's 731. It seems to be all the uh, committee members are agree of the work that needs to be done. So we're just going to move forward to do that on Du Bois. Yes, correct. Correct. All right. All right. In that case, I'd like the motion to adjourn the meeting. Motion. Okay. All the men with second. Thank you all for your participation.